Hi, my name is Greg Maidman from CMC Research Institutes. We're out here laying out a 2D line so that we can do some time-lapse seismic in an attempt to see where the edge of our CO2 plume is as it grows. We're hoping that through time we'll be able to see the edge progress through our reservoir of interest. We've been shooting the same 2D line and in fact multiple 2D lines over the last three to four years so that when we compare each seismic response we can see that progression of the CO2 plume through each one of these 2D lines that we shoot. This is important because we want to see where our CO2 is going. We need to make sure that it's staying in the reservoir where we inject it, that it's not leaking anywhere to surface or up any cracks or fractures. Surface seismic is the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to image the subsurface. Uh, it's used all over the world for oil and gas exploration. And part of what we're trying to achieve at the FRS in Brooks here is understanding which of the technologies is best for imaging CO2 in the subsurface.